in this video i will show you another example of norton equivalent circuit these are the steps i will follow to draw the norton equivalent circuit draw the norton equivalent circuit across the load resistor rl see our load resistor rl is connected across this a and b terminals and we have to draw the norton equivalent circuit across this load resistor rl so at first we will separate the load resistor rl from the network if i separate the load resistor rl from the network and keep it here our circuit will look like this and we can calculate the norton resistance rn and the norton current in from the remaining two terminal networks therefore we can draw norton equivalent circuit so if i connect norton current i n in parallel with norton resistance r n and the load resistor r l now see if i connect the norton current i n norton resistance r n and the load resistor r l in parallel that will be our norton equivalent circuit our load resistor is equal to 47 kilo ohm now i will show you how to calculate norton resistance Calculate the open circuit or Norton resistance Rn across A, B terminals. We have to replace the voltage sources with short circuits and current sources with open circuits. We will calculate Norton resistance with respect to this A and B terminals. This is a voltage source. We will replace it with a short circuit and this is a current source. We will replace it with an open circuit. So, I have removed the voltage source and replaced that with a short circuit and current source with an open circuit. And we will calculate a Norton resistance Rn with respect to this A and B terminals. See, this Rn will be the equivalent resistance with respect to this terminal and this terminal. If you look here, you will see this 4.7 kilo ohm and this 3.9 kilo ohm resistances are connected in series and their equivalent series resistance is connected in parallel with this 2.7 kilo ohm resistor so our norton resistance will be equal to 2.7 kilo ohm resistor in parallel with series of 4.7 and 3.9 and the sum of 4.7 and 3.9 kilo ohm will be 8.6 kilo ohm therefore i can say rn will be the equivalent parallel resistance of 2.9 2.7 and 8.6 k this will be equal to 2.7 k into 8.6 k over 2.7 k plus 8.6 k which will be equal to 2.05 kilo ohm after that we will connect a b path with a short circuit and we will calculate the norton current i n through that a b path this is our circuit we will connect this a b path with a short path and the current that will be flowing through this path will be our norton current and from the simulation i showed you the norton current will be equal to 366 milli ampere to calculate the norton current you may use mesh super mesh nodal super node superposition kvl kcl voltage divider rule current divider rule you have to find out what method is easier to apply in that circuit to calculate the norton current In this circuit, you can use super mesh method, nodal analysis, and superposition theorem to calculate Norton current. Here, I will proceed with nodal analysis to calculate this Norton current. This is our circuit in the simulator. The current that will be flowing through this 
path will be our node on current end. Let me run the simulation. See, this node has a voltage of 180 volt and the current at this direction is 366 milliampere and that current will be our not on current and remember it is flowing in the downward direction now see this node has a voltage of 180 volt this 2.7 kilo ohm resistor has a current of 66.7 milliampere now look at this node it has a voltage of 2.21 kilo volt and the current through this 4.7 kilo ohm resistor is 433 milliampere and it is flowing in this direction so in this node current will be outgoing in this direction and this direction and incoming from this direction and our not on current is 366 milli ampere let's say this is our ground terminal as i will apply nodal analysis this will be our reference node it will have a voltage of zero volt let's say this is our node number one it has a voltage of v1 this is our node number two it has a voltage of v2 now see we have a voltage source of 180 volt connected between this node 1 to ground terminal that means v1 will be equal to 180 volt which i showed you in the simulation we have to calculate v2 only let's say the current is outgoing in this direction and this direction because they are unknown currents and this one ampere is entering in the node 2 as I am applying nodal analysis, we have to assume all the unknown currents are outgoing. So here, if I apply Kirchhoff's current law at node 2, I will get V2 minus V1 over 4700. Here V1 is 180 plus v2 minus v0 over 3900 equal to 1 if i take the lcm i will get 183300 from which i will get 39 v2 minus if i put the value of 180 i will get 7020 plus 47 v2 this will be equal to 1 from which i will get 86 v2 is equal to 190320 from which i will get v2 is equal to 2213 volt so v1 is equal to 180 volt and v2 is equal to 2213 volt now see we know the value of node voltages we can calculate the branch currents the current through this 4.7 kilo ohm resistor will be let's say i 4.7 what will be the direction of this current see this is higher voltage and this is lower voltage current always flows from high to low voltage so this current will be entering at this node and that will be equal to higher voltage v2 minus lower voltage v1 over resistance through that path 4700 so here i will get 2213 minus 180 4700 which will be equal to 432.55 milli ampere now look at this terminal it has a voltage of 180 volt and this is our ground terminal it has a voltage of zero volt that means the current that will be flowing through this 2.7 kilo ohm will be outgoing from this node and let's say i will denote that voltage current with 2.7 which will be equal to 180 volt over 2700 which is equal to 66.67 milli ampere now see the current of 432.55 milliampere is entering at this node from this direction only 66.67 milliampere is leaving in this direction that means the rest of the current will be leaving in this direction so if i apply the shop's current law at node 1 i will get this i 4.7 is entering this 
i 2.7 and this i n will be leaving therefore sum of entering currents should be equal to sum of leaving currents 2.7 plus i n so here our not on current i n will be equal to i 4.7 minus i 2.7 which is equal to 4 32.55 milliampere minus 66.67 milliampere which will be equal to 3 65.88 milliampere which is very close to 366 milliampere and this will be our not on current so in the not on equivalent circuit not on current is 366 milliampere see here i n is positive therefore the direction of not on current will be in upward direction i n is equal to 366 milli ampere and the not on resistance was equal to 2.05 kilo ohm and this will be our not on equivalent circuit see this calculated result is very close to our simulated result that's it thank you